I am about to make my first attempt at using my brand new Weber kettle grill to grill some steaks. My friends David and Kim were recently out shopping and they came across this Weber kettle grill that was on clearance for $79. They knew how much I wanted one of these grills so they picked it up for me and got it for me as a gift. Thank you guys so much. Very awesome. This is the 22 inch Weber premium kettle grill. It's premium because it has this ash catching device down here at the bottom. And it's also a limited edition version which basically just means it is painted red to make it fancy looking instead of the standard black. And it has a lovely built in thermometer. So I just got this thing assembled and I wiped out the interior to get the uh, manufacturing grease film that's left on it out. And now I'm going to light up this hardwood lump charcoal, get it going in the grill to get the grill seasoned a little bit before I get the steaks on there. The first attempt to get that charcoal going did not work so well, but the second attempt, I got it, and it is roaring now. I added some fresh charcoal to the top of it so I can give it a little extra time to season in and then still be able to cook those steaks. Here I have my steaks. These are small because they're from a Dexter steer that we were supposed to raise in our homestead, but it didn't quite work out, so we had them harvested on farm, and this is the result. So I'm, I have the steaks oiled and just generously adding some salt to them, some black pepper. And then I'm just adding a little bit of this steakhouse blend from Harvest Eating, and you can get that at harvesteating.com. This is an all certified organic seasoning from my friend Chef Keith Snow. Normally I don't like adding salt until right before it goes on the grill, but given the circumstances, I'm just throwing it on now. The grill is at just over 400 degrees Fahrenheit and it's been sitting for a little bit so I'm gonna throw on these hickory wood chips so I get a nice smoky flavor. Well, I obviously did not get enough heat going in the grill because I did not get nice sear marks on the steaks. But the steaks were in there long enough to where I was getting concerned that it was going to get well done and I prefer a medium rare steak. I'm sure that could have gone a lot worse though for my first time and I'm pretty confident that these steaks are going to be pretty delicious just the way they are.
And now I know for next time I probably need to shoot for about 500 degrees to get the nice sear marks on the steaks. All right, now for the moment of truth. Okay, so along this outside edge, it's a decent medium, not bad. It's certainly not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Now for the taste. It doesn't have that char flavor that we like to get from grilling, but the smoke, it's so smoky with that hickory. Man, it's awesome. The smoke more than makes up for the lack of char flavor. Fantastic. Yes, there's room for improvement here, but man, it's awesome. I was just showing little buddy how all this works with the charcoal because we are giving it another spin tonight. We're making what? Burgers. Burgers, that's right. I'm gonna try to get some nice searing going on in the burgers. These coals are going pretty good so we're gonna go ahead and empty them out into the grill. We had it up to about 450 and then I added the hickory chips to add the smokiness as you can see it billowing out there. But the temperature dropped at 100 degrees when I did that, and it's not coming back up. So was it the 100 degrees? That was about 450. The temperature is continuing to increase. Got a little bit tiny little bit of sear marks going on, but definitely not what I was going for here. But once again, these are gonna be delicious nonetheless. So you're just gonna use your fork to eat it? You're not gonna pick it up with your hands? Yeah, I'm not because it's easier because I don't get to drop anything. Oh, okay, well give us a bite of the burger and let us know what you think. You like it? Mm-hmm. What does it taste like? A burger. <laughs> Is it smoky? Yeah. So, two thumbs up? Awesome. Yep, two. Better than one.